The CDC working to keep COVID and its variants out of the U.S. Soon, all international travelers will have to provide proof of a negative COVID test before stepping foot onto a U.S. bound airplane. CBS 46's Melissa Stern is live at Hartsville, Jackson. And Melissa, we, you've learned when this will go into effect. It goes into effect on January 26 and the idea is to protect any passengers traveling on these international airlines and to stop the spread of the virus. The CDC issued the order Tuesday to expand the requirement for a negative COVID-19 test to all air passengers entering the United States. I don't think it's a horrible thing. We kind of have to look out for our health and our well-being. Variants of the virus are showing up in countries around the world. We have have reported that we have found the variant that is easily transmissible. This is the same one that was identified in, in the UK. The goal is to stop the spread from travel related infections since the number of cases in the United States continue to go up. The hardest thing is going to be getting a test for us to leave to go to Cancun. You had to have symptoms to get a test, otherwise you had to wait and try and hopefully get an appointment to get a test. Pre-departure testing will help identify infected travelers before they board airplanes. Contact tracing is, is, is most important as we identify individuals with that variant because we want to find every single individual who's been exposed and try to stop that spread because it is so easily spread, probably 70% more easily than uh, the, the common strain that we've been dealing with all along. The CDC director says testing does not eliminate all risk, but when combined with a period of staying at home and everyday precautions like wearing masks and social distancing, it can make travel safer. All passengers are required to get a test within three days of their flight. If you don't provide proof or you refuse to get a test, you won't be allowed on the plane. Reporting live from the Atlanta airport, I'm Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.